Hello, my name is Lilian Okibe. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys practical steps that you can take to make your locks look nicer during the frizzy stage or what many people like to call the ugly stage. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So I actually have a video on my channel where I talked about this. When I made that video, I was actually in the ugly stage. <laughs> You know, so if you're interested in what, like, wanting to know what I thought back then, yeah, you can go ahead and watch the video. I'm going to link it up in the iCards. Now, the first thing you can do to help your locks look nicer um, during the frizzy stage is for you to get a shape, like get a haircut. Put your hair, like cut your hair into a shape. You can either do this before you start your lock journey. Like if you're someone who has not started their journey yet, you can do this before you start your lock journey. So like cut your natural hair into a shape. And if you've already started your journey, you can cut your locks into a shape i know when people hear cuts like they're just like oh my goodness i can't like how can you tell me to cut my hair i'm trying to because in the early stages of your lock journey your hair is shrinking a lot and you just cannot wait to have your hair start to grow longer you know but i feel like when you have a definite shape like when your hair has a definite shape everything looks nicer if you're someone who um used to wear their hair in like wash and goes when they had loose natural hair then you definitely understand why i mean like, like when your hair has a shape like a definite shape it makes everything look so much nicer so even if your locks are frizzy and it, like they're all over the place and everything when your locks have a shape it just looks nicer now when when i started my journey i it, i didn't intentionally cut my my hair just because i wanted to start locks but it just so happened that at the time that i started my lock journey i just like cut my hair into a shape i tried to cut my hair into like a you know kind of like afro kind of like full hair here and like bob i tried to cut my hair in something like an afro bob but it, just, it didn't come out the way i wanted it to <laughs> you know so i had kind of like a shape and so when i started my journey even though even though my lock shrunk up a lot it shrunk into like a nice kind of like pixie cut shape and that's because my hair was already cut into a shape and so it just like follow that shape even when i was going through like my own freezing stage and that helped to make my locks look nicer even though they were very 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 short and freezy you know that's something that you can look into and if you're a, if you're a guy um doing something like lining up your your hair if you're into that can also make your locks look nicer or i know some people who do like um faded haircuts that can also make you know your locks look a little nicer if you're going through the freezing stage but that does not mean that if you do not cut your hair into a shape or if you do not get your locks lined up or anything like that that's like your hair cannot look nice i'll be sharing some other tips that can help if this is not your cup of tea <laughs> now the next um thing that can help to make your locks look nicer during the freezing stage is for you to use water to your advantage like water is your friend use water to mold your your hair your locks into the shape that you want and this is another thing that i did a lot when um i just started my lock journey and this is something i feel like really contributed to how nice my hair looks like how nicely shaped my hair looks even when like i was going through the freezing stage i oh like every single day i would use water and like just like arrange my hair and mold my hair into the shape that i wanted and like month after month after month my locks started to form that shape that had created so even yes i had it my hair was cut in such a way that it shrunk up into like a pixie kind of cut but for the fact that i always use water to arrange my hair it also made made it look nicer in that shape of that pixie cut and so i had like to be honest with you i i didn't actually have an ugly stage <laughs> to be honest i like looking back at my old videos and like my old pictures i I don't i feel like i never experienced an ugly stage and that's because of all these things that i'm t i'm telling you guys in this video <laughs> yeah i know people say that water water like you should not touch water should not touch your hair for like the first few months because they are afraid that their locks will unravel and everything like that but you don't necessarily have to like soak your hair in water but just like use your spray bottle spray some water into your hair and like mold it into the shape that you want if you do this daily daily Put some water and mold the hair your locks into the shape that you want put some water and mold your locks into shape before you know it your locks will will grow into that shape and it's just going to look a lot nicer even even if or like even when you're going through like the freezing stage another thing that can help <laughs> to make your locks look nicer during the freezing stage is for you to as much as you can for you to wear your locks down wear your locks down as much as possible i see so many um people who are just starting their locks they are always like packing hair packing there doing this doing that and even though 
at first when he, when he start out it seems like it's cute like yeah it it's actually cute to be honest but i feel like as you approach like the one year one month mark up until maybe like 10 months i feel like the best thing you can do for your locks is to wear your locks down number one because your locks are going to shrink and if you're someone who for me like my hair shrunk up a lot <laughs> like i'm going to put like a video somewhere on the screen to show you guys to give you guys an, an idea of how my hair was like how long my hair was and then i'm going to show you guys how it actually shrunk when about like three months into my luxury so my hair shrunk up a lot and for many people their hair is going to shrink a lot it may not shrink as much as mine did but it's going to shrink so if you start your lock journey always putting your hair in styles and packing putting it up and putting it here and there the thing is at a point you're going to get to a stage where your locks will shrink so much that it's no longer be able to go into those styles that you started with and because your hair has been so used to your locks have been so used to being in that particular style it will no longer be able to hang down nicely like when it hangs down now that like the, your locks are no longer long enough to be in those styles when you put your locks down your locks are going to hang in a weird manner and it's not going to look cute at all and that's why i always encourage people like when you're just starting out at least for like the first six to ten months of your lock journey try to wear your locks down as often as possible you can style it in different ways down like you can put maybe a part here a part there change switch up your parts and everything like that maybe leave some bags you can use like maybe like little maybe like little scarves and all to like pull it back off your face and all that but um generally like the general look of your hair just try to wear it down as much as possible you can flip it in different ways but just make sure that it is worn down as often as possible this would greatly affect how nice your look your locks will look when you're in that freezy stage another thing that can help to make your make your locks look nicer during the freezy stage is if you want to style your locks right invest in headbands and like visor caps and like bandanas and slim scarves like basically all those things where you're not covering your locks all together but you're just like using maybe like a a hair a maybe like a a strip or like a headband you just like maybe you can put weights around around like perimeter of your hair or you can use it to like push your hair back you know or you can use like those visor caps that basically just cover the perimeter of your hair and the rest of your hair is out there and it's going to help give you a little bit of oomph right without interfering with the locking process and without molding your hair like or meshing or swooshing your hair in a weird manner and you can get like different colors different styles i'm going to put some pictures up here to show you guys what i mean all those headbands that like if you're a guy and you can't like wear like slim scarves and like those things like that you can wear like bandanas or you can wear visor caps you can wear um those bands there are these like bands that are unisex right um i know that jay-z used to wear this a lot when he had like when his locks were very short like when he was just when he started free forming like when his locks were very short and it looked really really nice this is something that can just help to give your locks a little bit of attitude and just help you feel can help make your locks look nicer even if it's freezy and help you feel a little bit more confident um even during the freezy lock stage so if you don't have any of these things that i've mentioned you can go ahead and shop for them you can find them on amazon you can find them in many of the, uh, many like local many um beauty supply stores supermarkets and things like that but just um invest in those kind of things and try to get the ones that are made of material that are not so harsh because you don't want to be wearing like very very harsh cutting and all those kind of materials that will end up damaging your edges so you want to wear something that is that even if it, like the material is not like silk but that is lined with something that is, that is lined with silk or something like like silk that will not snag your edges as you go about your day <laughs> next thing um that will help to make your locks look nicer during your freezing stage and i feel like this is actually the most important to be honest and i know people are some who may disagree but personally i feel like this is the most important and that is to work on your mindset <laughs> you really really like many people go into um the lock journey with that mindset of, oh my goodness i'm going to have this ugly face and like they are so afraid i know there are people who have contacted me to be like oh my goodness like i would love to start my lock journey but i'm afraid of the of the ugly face right but the truth is there is no such thing as an ugly face yes there's the phase where your locks are going to be freezy and all over the place and standing where you want them to fall or falling where you want them to stand and on all, on all that you're going to have that phase but that is also beautiful too right there are ways to work around it to, to still bring out the beauty even in the freezing phase so 
to be honest there's actually nothing like the ugly face there's no such thing as an ugly face but if you believe that you're going to have an ugly face you're definitely going to have an ugly face when i was going in, into my love journey i made up my mind like i made up my mind that i'm not going to have an ugly fa face i understood that my looks are going to get, are get to a phase where they're going to be freezy and many people may not understand it and people will think it is ugly who think it is unkempt and things like that but what before i went to my journey i made up my mind that as far as i'm concerned as far as my mind is concerned as far as how i think is concerned i'm not going to experience an ugly face i will never ever look at my looks and agree or feel like my looks are ugly so i made up my mind i made up my mind that no matter how no matter what phase i go through i'll make the best out of it and that's actually what i did i was determined and that was what i did and so this is i feel like this is the main reason why i did not go through go through the ugly phase because if you have that mindset of i'm not going to go through uh, i'm not going to go through the ugly phase no matter what i what my looks look like i'm going to learn to work with it you're going to get creative right you're going to get creative and come up with ways to make your looks look nicer but if you go going into your love journey feeling that oh my goodness i'm going to have an ugly face let me just hide away so that nobody will see me you're going to have an ugly face and it's going to be difficult and many people end up taking down their logs just because of that stage so really i feel like before you go into your log if you before you go into your log journey you really need to work on your mindset and if you're someone who has already started their journey it's not too late to start to work on your mindset because you are what you actually think to be honest i know that this is like ooh, 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 some people like that's just being ridiculous your, your logs either look good or they don't look good but how you think really manifests into what you see and what others see as well <laughs> so working on your mindset i feel is like the most important thing that will help make your looks look nicer during the freezy stage now after all these things i've said there are things that you you don't want to do you know if you want to enjoy your looks and have your looks look nice during the freezy stage now the first thing you don't want to do is hide away in your house and hide away in your room because you're ashamed of your hair you're ashamed of your locks and you don't want anybody to see you in your ugly face that's something you don't want to do because i see so many people who like start their lock journey and then just all of a sudden they just become antisocial if you're someone that you're an introvert you're not really into going out and meet, meeting people that's a totally different thing but if you're someone that you're normally the life of the party you're out there you like to go out you like to meet people but just because you now have looks you feel like you need to hide away and you know just avoid people because you are afraid or you're insecure about what they're going to think about your hair this is something that you don't want to do because i feel like the love journey actually teaches us to be comfortable in our own skin and be confident no matter what others think about us right and I feel like if you just hide away, number one, you're going to miss out on so many beautiful things, beautiful interactions with people, beautiful events. Like you can just imagine having like a major event of maybe like a loved one and you choose not to go just because of your hair. Like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you're always hiding in your room because of your hair, you're always hiding in your hair, in your house because of your hair, you're never going to get to that point where you're going to be confident. The more you wear your hair out, the more you show up right with your hair even even if at first you don't really think it looks good even if at first you can see that it's frizzy and you agree that it's frizzy and you're actually uncomfortable the more you show up the more comfortable you're going to get with it and the more creative you're going to get and the more you're going to come up with ways to make the best out of what you have right so do not <laughs> hide away in your house just because you're going through the freezer stage another thing you want to do is retwist too often just because you want to hide your freeze if you're someone who wants their locks to grow thick and full and juicy you don't want to do this if you if you don't mind like thickness then go ahead you can retwist as often as you want but judge just, just don't retwist too tight so that it doesn't damage your hair right but if you're someone who wants their locks to be very thick you can't afford to um retwist very often just because you want to hide the freeze like that's going to do you a lot of harm down the line because it's not going to make your locks get as thick as possible so don't do that <laughs> another thing you don't want to do is cover your locks every time you go out just because you are afraid of what people will think about your frizzy hair or you're insecure about what people are going to say about your locks like back to what i said earlier about not hiding in your house and that thing you want to do is cover your locks because the more like i said before the more you show up um with your hair out and about the more confident you are going to get right 
then another thing is if you're always covering your locks it's going to interfere with how your locks form it's going to affect the shape of your locks that's one of the reasons why some people end up with flat locks because if you're always wearing like tight you know caps even sometimes even if it's not like ne necessarily tight fact that you're always covering your hair you're not you're not allowing your locks to just be free and swell up as much as they want to right and that will interfere with how your locks will look eventually as your locks mature so you don't want to cover your locks like if you um if you there's nothing wrong, wrong with covering your locks every now and then but don't make it a habit of always covering your hair especially if you're covering your hair because you are ashamed of you know having people see your your hair in the freezing stage like <laughs> you're going to look back like if you if you don't embrace your hair now in the freezing stage you're going to look back and you're going to regret it now granted there were moments when i was when my locks were still um in the freezing stage there were moments when i'll wake up and the thoughts just come to my mind like oh my goodness like your hair looks uh, but i just snap out of it immediately and i push the thoughts out of my mind you know and looking back now now that my looks have gotten more mature looking back at those like older pictures and older videos even at moments when i was tempted to feel like my hair wasn't good enough looking back now i realized that it actually looked nice <laughs> it's just it's just about my mindset you know and for the fact that i did not like internalize those thoughts that came into my mind for the fact that i did not own those thoughts i did not, I did not let it get get to me so much and that so that did not affect how i live my life you know and now looking back i'm glad that i did not because i would have missed out on like so much beauty now another thing you don't want to do is bathe in gel in hair gel just because you want to tame the freeze and i see so many people do this because they are, you feel like oh they are oh like their locks are too freezy and all over the place so they always slick their hair some of them retwist you know with a lot of gel just to hide the freeze some of them are always slicking and you know slapping gel upon gel on their hair they're just suffocating your hair and suffocating your scalp <laughs> And eventually all that gel will cause build up especially if you're not washing your locks properly um so yeah i feel like the best thing you can do if you're going through the freezy stage is for you to own the freeze embrace the freeze and try to make the best of what you already have like that's the best advice i can give to you enjoy it and try to make the best of what you already have another thing that can help um to make your locks look nicer is if you're starting your lock journey on healthy hair like if you're starting locks done on healthy hair generally looks a lot nicer than locks done on damaged hair um so it, that, it definitely helps um start your locks on healthy hair or you can cut all the damage even if you've already started your locks you can obviously see that parts of your locks are damaged you can cut it off and that will help your locks look nicer however i do not recommend like if you are, if you want to start your locks now and your locks are, and your hair is not in the best position you, you are experiencing some damage and things like that i do not recommend you um waiting until when your hair your loose hair is healthy before you go ahead and start your lock journey and the reason i know that so many some people advise this but the reason why i don't recommend this is because i feel like it is easier to nurse especially if you're not so obsessed with um retwisting every two seconds it is easier to nurse hair back to life to nurse your to nurse hair to good health when your hair is locked than when your hair is loose so i wouldn't say that because your hair is not healthy right now that you should not go for it you should not start your lock journey until when your hair is healthy like <laughs> you're just wasting time valuable time that will push you further along um, on your lock journey so i wouldn't recommend that but i know that starting on healthy hair gen like definitely helps with the look of your hair so if you're someone who has a decent amount of hair there's really nothing wrong with cutting out those scraggly ends and those damaged ends you know before you start your lock journey that would definitely help to make your locks look nicer even in the freezy lock stage so with that we'll come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys found it helpful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if this is your first time on my channel and you like to see more videos from me then definitely subscribe thank you so so much for watching See you guys in my next video. baby. <laughs> baby.